Hi everyone, thank you for watching and welcome to my channel. Today I have a drugstore haul. My PX was basically just having 25% off all the makeup that they had there. So I figured I would pick up a few things, do my makeup today, review them on here for you guys. So let's just get into the video. So the first product that I have is the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. I really like this packaging. I feel like it's like really fancy and sleek. That it's a water-based primer, preps the skin for smooth makeup application and a radiant look. Um, it also says that it can be used to prime the skin after makeup application, to set makeup, or throughout the day just to refresh your makeup. I did use this as my primer today. Also with the NYX Angel Veil Primer, I also just got this. I liked it, but I feel like these two things don't go together. So I think I messed up, that was my fault. But I like both. This kind of made my skin feel nice and tacky and ready for makeup. And this kind of made me feel dry, which is weird because on my hands it felt really moisturizing. So I have to try them out together. I mean separate, I have to try them out separate. Um, but yeah. Another product that I got was another e.l.f. product, and it's the e.l.f. HD Powder. It's supposed to help mask fine lines and imperfections for a radiant looking complexion. It has a dial on the inside to help control the product that comes out. You can see in here, this thing moves. But I like the packaging on this as well. And I have another thing from e.l.f. Of course, because how can you not go to the elf section? It's just, it's so affordable. I really do like most of the products. So, I have the, I think it's called the Sun Kissed. It is. This is the Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. It's supposed to contour and highlight the skin for a gorgeous glow. That's what it says on the back of the packaging. But, I would not use this as a bronzer. I tried to use it as a bronzer and it literally looks like I dipped my big bronze bronzing brush into my Carly Bible palette, like into that nice beautiful gold highlight shade and just put it on my face like all over. So what I did with this after that happened, I put on my normal bronzer which is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I have two little like travel size ones that I use, but I could just put this on top and then I kind of like put some on my eyelid. So I mean, you can use this for a lot of things. I would not call this like a bummer or I don't think that I wasted my money because it looks pretty on top of bronzer. You can use it as a highlight. You can use it as an eyeshadow. I'm probably going to use it as like a body highlight for like my collarbone and my shoulders for the rest of the summer but yeah I definitely would not use it as contour because it wasn't good it wasn't good but I do really 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 like it for everything but <laughs> contouring I picked up a blush by Wet n Wild it's a color iconic blush and it's in mellow wine it's really pretty it has like peachiness to it. It's like a pinky peach, which I really like because I don't like like really intense or dark um, blushes. My mom does. My mom loves blush. I could walk out of my room after doing my makeup when I used to live at home and she'd be like, oh, you're not going to put any blush on? And I'd be like, mom, I put blush on. She always moving on. Today for my highlight, I used a Wet n Wild highlight in to reflect i didn't just buy this but i figured i would mention it because it is drugstore and i use it today on my face i also picked up a few brushes from elf i got an elf contouring brush i didn't use it today but it's definitely going to be really good for contouring i picked up a concealer brush but i'm definitely just going to use this for my highlight because i love the way it applied my highlight today loved it like I would buy another one. I would buy backup. I would buy one for concealer because I feel like it would be good for concealer, but I definitely want to get a backup one of these. And then another brush, I got a blush brush, but I have a million of them. Also got a, another cat eyes or colossal mascara. This is my favorite mascara. I use it like anytime I do my makeup. So I picked up a backup 
and a waterproof one. For my foundation today, I use the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush, Airbrush? Airbrush Finish Foundation. And I used 40 Nude, which when I first put it on, like it looked so orange. It looked like it wasn't gonna match me. I was like, oh God. So I felt like after a while or after doing my concealer, it definitely oxidized and I feel like it does match me now. Definitely liked it. And the last product that I got was an, another e.l.f. <laughs> product. And it was, or it is, this is the Makeup Mist and Set Setting Spray. Um, I used to own the illuminating one. I literally ran out of it. But this said it prevents colors from running or fading to help keep your makeup in place all day. It's lightweight, oil-free, um, helps soothe the skin. It has aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E, which is awesome. I did not know that. So that is all the products that I have for this drugstore haul. It's a very small mini drugstore haul, but a drugstore haul nonetheless. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to, please subscribe to my channel down below. All the products that I mentioned, I will put in the description box down below. And thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through this drugstore haul. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.